When we age, the skin undergoes dramatic changes. And this can even begin to happen in the ages of 20s and 30s. As we age, the architecture of our skin changes, and that even reflects in the changing shape of the face. So when we're young, we've got a triangular looking shape. And as we age, due to the effects of gravity, this triangle inverts and turns upside down. So you've got sagging jowls and sagging skin along with a prominent upper face. And so we want to shift this back into a normal younger looking face by refilling and replumping the lower parts of the face. With aging, we also have aging on the skin due to different factors. Some of these factors are extrinsic factors and some are intrinsic factors. Intrinsic factors of skin aging simply mean chronological aging of the skin and body. With extrinsic factors and extrinsic aging, we have aging due to the effects of external sources, such as UV radiation, pollution, smoking, lifestyle choices, and even diet. Of course, it's difficult to tease apart the two, intrinsic aging from extrinsic aging, but it's important to know that the end result is aging of the skin, which can result in changes in texture, changes in pigmentation with brown spots, and even changes in redness in the skin. Now, when it comes to aging, the skin architecture also changes over time. And we've got what we know as three pillars of the skin. And these are composed of water, lipids, and proteins. The water, lipids, and proteins really make up the structure of the skin. And as we age, this structure starts to break down. So we have a process called degeneraging whereby the lipids, water, and protein content of the skin begins to break down. 